Hey guys, this is Jeff Talzero from 18 Strong, and I'm here at the beautiful club at Puerto Chima in the Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri, Sunrise Beach. And we're here on a little bit of a travel getaway, golf vacation, and I know that we've talked a lot about, you know, staying fit on the road and what ideas and, and things you can do while you're in a hotel room, in a condo. So what I wanted to do was, while I'm here and have the opportunity, I'm gonna show you a few of my go-to exercises and things that I recommend with clients while they're on the road. Just a quick and dirty workout that you can do pretty much anywhere with very little equipment to make sure that you're staying on track with your fitness while you're you know, traveling and don't have the normal equipment or gym or whatever you would normally use. So we're gonna clip over that. I'm gonna show you just a couple quick exercises, very simple, uh, fundamental exercises that'll kind of work a little bit of everything. Okay, so here we are in the private quarters here at the club at Puerto Chima, and I'm gonna walk you through just five exercises that I love to use when I'm on the road. If I'm traveling, my intention is not to, to go to the gym and spend an hour to an hour and a half getting a workout in. Usually it's because you're on vacation or you're on a trip, so you've got a tight schedule. So what I'm gonna suggest is just make a circuit of several different exercises. These are gonna be five of them that are gonna hit pretty much everything to, from head to toe, so you know that you've got every body part covered. So the first one that we're gonna show you is the goblet squat. So you don't need any equipment really for any of these exercises, except I did bring a kettlebell along, uh, which I suggest if you have the option to do that, bring something, because it always helps to have a little additional weight and resistance. So for the goblet squat, you're gonna take a kettlebell or a dumbbell, or you could just kind of hold and do body weight position here. So goblet squat is just going down into a, a squat position, staying up nice and tall, and then coming back up with the weight. You're gonna pick it up, hold it right in front of you, and then you'll do your squats. Stay nice and tall, elbows inside the knees, like so, and then just from the side view, just like that. All right, so that's the goblet squat. Then I'm gonna throw in a rowing motion. So you could do basically, again, without any kind of assistance, this would be a tough one. You could use some sort of a rubber band to do any kind of a pull. But for this, I'm gonna do kind of a bent over, kind of a hip hinged position. And then I'm just gonna do a single arm row with the kettlebell. Just up, little pause. Just make sure it's nice and controlled. And then I would switch sides after my certain amount of reps, whatever I, I designate. Like so. So that one's working on a lot of posture, preventing rotation, but you're getting that pulling motion there. All right, my, one of my favorite exercises of all times, you've probably seen it on a couple other videos, is the split squat. This one is great for balance. It's great for flexibility. So the split squat is one foot in front of the other and you're just going down, getting a little bit of a stretch in the back leg, letting the knee kind of come forward a little bit as long as you keep a good posture. I don't want to see you down lunging like this. So nice and tall here and then right back up. So it's down slow just like that. And then if you want to use some resistance, take your kettlebell. You could use two kettlebells if you want. You could use two dumbbells, whatever. But then you're going to go, and this is going to really work your balance because it's going to kind of throw you sideways. So right here, nice and tall, and back down. Good. Just like that. Obviously switch sides. Then I'm gonna do a little bit of a deadlift. There's a couple ways you can do this. So we're gonna get our kettlebell in position. We're gonna work on just our, our hinging motion, just like so. So if you have any kind of weight resistance with you, use the weight. You're just gonna come up, and then come right back down with that good hinge, good posture. Back up that way. Or a twist that I like to throw on this is 
put the kettlebell in one hand and pretend like you're holding on to one bar. And this is going to work on preventing that rotation, really keeping you stable. Coming down, right back up. So it gives you a little bit different stress. Obviously, you'd switch sides that way. Now, if you don't have a kettlebell for that, I would just work on a little bit of balance, doing what we call a single leg deadlift, which is just coming here, coming back up. Obviously, you need a little bit of space, but you're working on that hinge and coming back up. You could do 10 on the left side, 10 on the right side. And then lastly, and I'll demonstrate real quick, but we've all seen it, is just push-ups. Just regular old push-ups. But I want to give you a little challenge where you're going down nice and slow. And then explode up. And just work on keeping that posture the whole time. And then that explosive motion as you come up. So my suggestion would be figure out how many reps you want to do. 10 repetitions, four sets of each of these, five sets maybe, is a perfect circuit. It'll take you maybe 20, 25 minutes, uh, depending on the weight, depending on all the resources you have. It can be a very, very good workout and you can get a lot done in a short period of time and obviously in a small amount of space. So next time you're on the road, give this a, a try some sort of circuit routine because there's no reason even though you're in a place like this you're limited on time limited on space that you can't get your work in train hard practice smart play better golf